In this video, I'm going to help you fix one of the biggest mistakes devs do when using ARIA hidden attributes. Have you ever tested your site with a screen reader and wondered why your checkout button is not read out by a screen reader? Or maybe you have done what a lot of developers do, used ARIA hidden true to fix double announcements. Don't worry, you're not alone. WebAIM conducted a study and found that on an average, there are 18 ARIA hidden attributes per page, which is up 16% from last year and over 250% since 2020. That's a lot of hidden content. At first, ARIA hidden looks harmless, but when misused, it can quietly destroy your accessibility by hiding the entire menus, forms, or even your main content. In this video, we are going to break it all down. Now, if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe because I'm on a mission to build an inclusive digital world. And don't forget to like this video. It keeps me motivated to bring more content to you. What ARIA Hidden actually does? Why developers misuse it? With some real examples. And five best practices so you never accidentally hide your entire UI from your users again. All right, let's start simple. ARIA Hidden True commands assistive technologies like JAWS or NVDA to ignore an element and everything inside it. In simple terms, do not read the content within this element. And here's a basic example. This little star, it looks nice, but it is decorative. The screen reader does not need to read star every time. So in this case, adding ARIA hidden true is completely fine. But the real problem arises when you try to add ARIA hidden true to meaningful images. The term ARIA hidden is misleading. You read hidden and think it must be like display none or visibility hidden. No, it's more like saying this thing exists, but I'm going to pretend it does not. And no. I'm not talking about ghosts. I'm talking about how most developers treat accessibility like it's haunting their code. And here's the part that trips everyone. Sometimes the element that you are hiding with ARIA hidden is not the problem. It's the label, the form field, or the entire section that accidentally goes missing. Developers often use it as the duct tape. Element is read twice, add ARIA hidden. Screen reader too chatty, add ARIA hidden. Manager not approving your leave, add ARIA hidden. Editor, apply ARIA hidden to the last comment. Now ARIA hidden can have two values, either false or true. By default, it's set to false, which means screen readers will announce the content. And when set to true, it will ignore and not announce. Here are the top five ways ARIA hidden is quietly breaking accessibility. Number one, hiding interactive elements. This button looks visually fine, but screen readers skip it completely because it has ARIA hidden set to true. It's like putting up a do not enter sign on a glass door. Everyone can see it, but no one can get through. Secondly, making the entire container hidden. Be honest, have you ever seen ARIA hidden applied on the entire parent div or form? If yes, congratulations. You didn't just hide a button, you made the whole form vanish for every assistive technology user. And number three, we have duplicate labels. Designers aim for clarity. They would ask you to add both icons and a label for a button. In that case, adding ARIA hidden to the icon is necessary to not make the redundant announcements. But somewhere in the design handoffs, ARIA hidden gets applied to the wrong element. And then the screen reader announces nothing. At number four, we have models coded incorrectly. When a model opens, the background should be hidden to keep focus within the model. That's absolutely fine. But when you close it and forget to reset ARIA hidden to false, your whole page is ghosted for screen readers. Nothing will be read out. And lastly, alerts or live regions. This is another example when we are having error messages on the page. They visually pops up, but because they have ARIA hidden set to true, 
even the aria live announcement will not work leaving your users stuck forever i realized how dangerous aria hidden is when i was testing a checkout form everything looked perfect but my screen reader said nothing no add to cart no checkout no sign in why because i used aria hidden on the wrapping dev to silence a redundant icon that one fix cost me every button on the page and that's when it hit me accessibility is just not coding it's empathy in syntax here's how to actually use aria hidden in the right way use it only for decorative or duplicated content never apply aria hidden on focusable or interactive elements pair with visible alternatives for meaningful content such as icons and text toggle it dynamically when showing or hiding models and lastly always test with real screen readers such as nvda or jaws all right so this is the sample page that we will be using today to see aria hidden true how it affects different elements to quickly show you i have added aria hidden true to the filter section on the left side let's inspect it i applied aria hidden at the parent level now when i turn my screen reader on it should not announce any headings or labels in this section so for that let me turn on my screen reader voice over on chrome electronic products vertical line skill sync i'm using voice over on a chrome browser i'm going to press h now to jump from one heading to another heading not found it says heading not found i'm going to do shift h heading not found leaving dev tool search products Let's button press group. h to jump to the heading heading level 4 electronics product so it skipped the filter section on the left side so to show you again i'm going to do shift h first heading heading level 4 electronics first heading first heading he it stays on electronics products it says first heading heading level 4 electronics products because it is unable to go past that element because of this are I hidden true on the parent dev None of the headings in this section are in the reading order when I'm using my shortcut key H. Similarly, I have applied Aria Less hidden true to this Object image. So let's character. inspect the Ob inspect leaving. You see, Classic. I have added Aria hidden true to this Level nine. image. Level nine. Link. H T T P S. Now let's come back to this page and let's press G to jump from one graphic to another. Image not found. Let's let me tab one. Leaving Dev Tools. Now I'm gonna press G. MacBook Pro 14 See, inch image. It completely skipped the first image. Now if I try to shift G, shift and G. First image. MacBook Pro 14. It stays on the image which says MacBook Pro. It's not going to iPhone 15 Pro Max. If I AirPods continue pressing Pro G, wireless it goes past the next image on the page. Interestingly, if you add Aria hidden true to the focusable elements such as links. buttons or form elements such as text boxes check boxes aria hidden true will be overridden it will be read by a screen reader because it gives priority to the focus event and not the aria hidden to prove this theory i have added Good aria menu. hidden true to the inspect sign up Leaving. button here Leaving. i added aria, aria hidden, hidden true Less at the bu button level and if we start tabbing and go to the sign up screen reader still reads it as sign up button so let's have a listen together visited link link login you are currently on i'm going to press shift tab now sign up button so as you just heard and read it says sign up button even though we have added aria hidden true but the common mistake that i see new developers do they add aria hidden true within the text itself so if they are using span tag within the button and they had aria hidden true there in that case it will only read it as a button because it will get rid of the sign up text to prove this let's go greater and inspect menu, it greater menu 19 item edit as h code edit and less than greater space aria aria a hidden then hidden gray equals t r e span aria true i'm going to remove it from the parent select button select aria hidden equals true less than lee class equals nav item greater than search products search let's products shift link tab. link link visit link login now is the moment of truth let's do shift tab again button it only says button so again if you apply aria hidden at the button level the parent level it will be announced but if you apply aria hidden into the text within it it will not be read out 
So something to keep in mind when you are applying ARIA Hidden True. In short, ARIA Hidden True works well when it is done on headings, labels, images, but it is not supported well when they are put on the focusable elements such as button, links, form elements. As we just saw and heard, ARIA Hidden is not the villain. It's when it is overused, but when used intentionally, it makes user experience seamless. But when used carelessly, it breaks trust. Because for someone using a screen reader, silence is not elegance, it's exclusion. Here's the mindset shift that changed how I code for accessibility. Instead of thinking, how do I hide this from a screen readers? Ask, does this help or confuse the user experience? If the answer is confusing, you fix the structure and not hide it. Again, ARIA Hidden is not evil. It's a precision tool. Used with intention, it keeps your UI clear and accessible. Used blindly, it locks people out. So here's your challenge of the week. Run an audit on your site. Search for ARIA Hidden True and ask yourself, does this belong here? If you found this video helpful, hit like, subscribe and share this video with your dev team. This is Param Singh signing off. I'll see you in the next video.